In this video I'm going to talk about my involvement with the Hoys Citizen Science Project at the University of Kent in the UK. Hoys is an acronym for Hunting Outbursting Young Stars. It works with amateur astronomers, that's me, on long-term photometric monitoring of young stellar clusters to find outbursting and other interesting objects. I got involved, I joined, and uh, looking at the requirements, the Hoys equipment needs to be at least 50 millimeter, two inches. So both Stellina and C-Star are in, and soon I will have my Edge HD 11 inch, and then uh, the Meet 16 inch at the Rice Creek Observatory will be joining. Any camera, uh, both of my uh, uh, smart telescopes have CMOS cameras, pixel scale has to be less than three arc seconds. Uh, this eliminates uh, Vespera, unfortunately, it is three, three arc seconds. Stellina is 1.25, C-star is 2.39, but we are good. Any optical filter, I have a dual band, light pollution, and an IR on uh, both Stellina and C-star, and observing time as much as you like. This is the target selection. Uh, many of them are familiar. Orion Nebula, Elephant Trunk Nebula, Rosette Nebula. I have imaged these over and over over the years. It's now a matter of uh, doing it for the sake of science as opposed to fun and submitting them into the database. Uh, the Hoys folks published a couple of articles about uh, using the sea star for uh, hunting the outbursting young stars. My question is, seriously, and the answer boils down to, yeah, seriously, you can use the C-star. And uh, this is what I am doing. For this video, I picked uh, 1396A, the Elephant's Trunk Nebula, which is uh, one of the targets in the Hoyce project. Found it quickly and uh, started capturing it. Uh, this went on for... Uh, the better part of an hour and uh, when we were done with that it was a matter of processing I think we went uh, just uh, about 38 minutes here there it is taking shape how to automate the preparation of sea star images for the Hoys upload that was a fun exercise uh, first thing is installing Serial, which I had not used in the past, so I installed it. Installing the Python 3.9, did that too. I had used Python in the past, but not in this context. And then installing the AstroPy package, which I did, creating the folders, unzipping the file, and we were ready to uh, rock and roll with processing the data. Since my C-Star is connected via station mode, I can open all the files. Here they are, and there is 1396A. I'm going to drag it to the desktop. And uh, there it is. I should be able to open it now and see what's in it. There are three files. There is the thumbnail. Uh, no big deal. There is the JPEG file, and then uh, there is the the big FITS file, and that's the one we're interested in. Uh, let me take a quick look at uh, what's in it by opening it with WordPad. And these are the parameters of uh, most interest to us. Uh, it is talking about uh, the focal length, uh, 250. The pixel size confirmed there as 2.9. The stack count, 270 frames, is what we captured. Exposure time. And uh, somewhere in there, there is the filter that it used. There it is. The filter is an LP filter, the light pollution. So following with the guidance from the hoise, web page. Uh, I'm going to uh, grab and drop this one into the Hoys videos. Nope. Wrong 
one lights. That's where I've, I dropped the fit file in the lights video, in the lights file. And now I can go to a the Python script, C star hoys, and I should be able to run it. It goes to this serial home directory, C star hoys. It asks me to enter the hoys target number, uh, which is optional. I'm going to skip it here. And it has processed the two files that were there. Now I should be able to go to hoys and find the blue, green, and red files uh, ready to be uploaded. At this point, I need to log on to the into my account on the Hoys server. It is a computer server at the University of Kent. And once we are uh, logged on, uh, that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go to Upload. And here it's asking me to uh, drag and drop the files. And here they are. I'm just going to take these three for now, the 1396A drop them and upload they are done I process my uploads and here they are the 1396 a red blue and green i go to observation target and it gives me the target of observations. I can uh, go down to 1396A and device used, it's my Zeus Star S50 and the details in the database. At this point, metadata, it is going to find them. And it says uh, this is the date and the time. It is the red filter and 270 uh, frames times 10 seconds, which is correct. Metadata is correct. Proceed to add to the database. Astrometric calibration. This is where the fun begins. It's going to try to match all those stars and find out what their recorded magnitude is. It's going to take a few seconds. There it is. It has circled in red every one of the stars that it found. And it asks me if the astrometry has correctly identified objects. Yes. And next step is photometric calibration. That is where it plots the magnitudes of those stars and identifies how many stars per magnitude we have. This is a very nice uh, plot, except for the very first little bit. We have a good plot. There is a good match between what we captured and what the theoretical expectation is. Now, I have the option of uh, Clipping at 14 and 20, if this is all I want to keep, I can say 20 is the maximum used and uh, 14 is the minimum used and retry the calibration with the above values. 
this will eliminate uh, the stars that were uh, uh, causing the basically this is the big uh, deviation that it's trying to eliminate and these I think I yep there we go okay this is a much cleaner graph much 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 cleaner calibration graphs appear correct and uh, submitted it and voila this one is done it is gone from here it has been processed so this is the process of capturing posting processing data into the hoist database thank you and we'll chat with you again next time